of so that you can be in the mood of prayer. So the song I'm going to sing is song number 478. Uh, you can uh, follow through and we sing together. And take 
Guys. Amen, Eric. Thank you for that uh, wonderful piece. It's a time to cast away, to cast upon in all our cares and troubles. So at this moment, I want to welcome our speaker, Dr. Jesus. Please, Pastor, you are welcome to share with us. Welcome so much. Uh -huh. Pastor Kessis, you are so much welcome. I think, Pastor, you are muted. We can't get you. Hello, you can hear me? Yes, you, you are clear now. Yes, you are audible now, Pastor. Okay, we will proceed. Yeah, it is raining here heavily, so it's interrupting us, but we will proceed anyway. Uh, let's pray. Father in heaven, what a privilege to begin this e-week of prayer with these brothers and sisters at Mwangaza. May your name be praised. Thank you for the organization and thank you for this opportunity. We pray that it will be possible for us to share your word amidst the challenges of the weather and connectivity, that we will see each other, hear each other, and that you will be glorified in all this. Nothing is impossible with you. Bless your word and bless us in Jesus' name, amen. Uh, my brothers and sisters, the message I would like to share with you today has a title of just two words, and it says, Usiji West, Usiji West. Now, this is a combination of Swahili and English. Usiji, don't do something, you know, speaking about yourself, Swahili. And West is an English word, as in wastage, wasting something. And the message today says, Usiji West. Now, this is Swahili and English mixed, but it is frequently used. It's a street language that helps us communicate something, Usiji West. This means don't do something, 
that won't be useful to yourself. Usiji West. Maybe you are involved in something that will not help you. And so your friends, your relatives, and those who care come and advise you either verbally or comment section of social media. And they say, OCG West. This also means act in your best interest. Act in a manner that you will favor yourself in the process. Act in a way that you are not the loser, Usiji West. It's a warning also when somebody says Usiji West, it is also a warning that what you are doing is not in your best interest. Maybe you are busy chasing something or someone and your friends know more than you know and they send you a message say, please Usiji West. Don't waste your time, don't waste your resources, don't waste the opportunity, because from what they know, it will not yield anything. And that's why these words are very common in our streets today. Usiji West, Usiji West. Because there are many times we waste our times, we waste our opportunities, and they tell you, Usiji West. It also means that what you are doing is what you will regret and therefore it's not worth the time you are engaged in and the message is simple it says to you and me ocg west don't waste yourself don't waste your opportunity don't waste your time don't waste your resources don't act in a way to harm yourself the message says ocg west now Ladies and gentlemen, our theme this week is titled My Circle of Influence Amplified. My Circle of Influence Amplified. Now, friends, I was reading around just to understand this concept of circle of influence. And I read somewhere that there are five circles of influence that we must excel in if we are to be considered successful people. There are circles of influence where if you don't excel in, then you are not considered a successful person. There are five critical circles of influence that you must consider making a contribution in those five circles. And it is these five circles that I will try to weigh in during this week because we are thinking of my circle of influence amplified. Which is your circle of influence? Now, one writer, as I've told you, has suggested that there are five. And I found two other writers who concur that there are actually five. Others think there are more, others think there are less. It is the it is these circles of influence that I want us to consider during this week. And the authors say that the first circle of influence that is so critical for you to succeed is self. That you actually surround yourself with yourself, your thoughts, your thinking, and things you allow in. This is your circle of influence. And somehow you can influence yourself. That's why you can negatively act against yourself and some people take their lives because they have negatively influenced themselves. They are angry with themselves. They have not forgiven their se themselves. So that circle of influence, number one, that is critical is self. How is your circle of influence, your self circle of influence, whether you are alone yourself, in that circle. How is that circle of influence? We will focus on that circle this week. And then the second circle of influence that we are told about is the family. The family is a circle of influence because these are people you are related with, parents, children, uncles, aunties, grandparents, grandchildren. This is the circle of influence called family. So if you are not effective in your own circle of influence, 
with yourself you can't succeed anywhere else if you are not successful within the family it becomes difficult to succeed somewhere and then number three is a circle of influence that has been called the team the team now this is a team that you work with this could be your friends you know this is the team that you have selected this is the team that you are part of you need to be influential in that circle influential does not necessarily mean being the leader it only means that you get influence from that circle and you also And then the fourth one that is mentioned is organization, an organization. Many times we find ourselves in an organization as Christians to be in an organization called the church. The church is our organization. It's a circle of influence. It influences us and we influence it. So this is a circle. And then the fifth one is the community. Now the larger community, the larger community where we may not know everyone and not everyone knows us one way or another. It influences us and we influence them. These are the circles of influence that I will want us to focus on. And I want us to begin with that circle of influence called self we need to begin with myself we need to begin with yourself so that we can act in my best interest and you act in your best interest i act in my best interest you act in your best interest and that's why the message today is simple and clear ocg west ocg west act in your best interest i want to invite you to read a few Bible passages, then we will understand this concept of OCG West. When you read Mark chapter 8, verse 36, when you read Mark chapter 8, verse 36, Jesus pauses in a conversation and asks a question. This is what we, we call the million dollar question. Jesus asks, what good is it for someone to gain the whole world and yet forfeit their own soul. Jesus is saying, if you are not acting to save your soul, you are not acting in your best interest. You are wasting yourself. If you are chasing money, if you are chasing deals, if you are chasing education, if you are chasing visas, if you are chasing opportunities, if you are chasing influence, and at the end you don't chase the welfare of your spiritual life, you are wasting yourself. We have a message for you, OCG West. OCG West. Because all education without Jesus means nothing. And that's why Jesus says, what good is it for someone to gain the whole world and forfeit their own soul? That's why Jesus gave that story of the rich fool. Because the rich fool, Ali G. West, he wasted himself, wasted time, wasted opportunity, because the Bible says about the rich fool that the rich fool planted a farm. He spent a lot of time, good fertilizer, cheap fertilizer from government, good seed from some company properly. And he supervised, he made sure the weeding is well, and he had Bumper harvest, bumper harvest, bumper harvest. And I wish somebody would have told him when he started digging OCG West. I wish somebody had told him as he was applying fertilizer OCG West. I wish somebody had told him OCG West. But nobody talked to him seemingly. And he continued working and he had such a great harvest that he was sure if he keeps this harvest, he will never need to work. He can go on retirement and enjoy life. I wish somebody gave him the message today and told him, OCG West. When he looked at his harvest, he told himself, 
I will build bigger barns, bigger go downs, bigger stores, and put my my crop safe there that I've harvested, and pause and enjoy life. And he says, relax my soul and enjoy your life. But the Bible says that night after building the stores, that night after storage, that night when he was beginning happily ever after, when he was beginning life ya kuomoka, the life of being successful, when he was beginning a better life, a voice came from heaven and told him, you fool. Why is he referred to as a fool? He is referred to as a fool because Aliji West, and that's why the message says, Usiji West, don't waste yourself. You fool, the message, the voice came from heaven and said, your soul, your life is required today by God who gave it. The God who gave you life has come to demand your life. And he tells him, what will you do with all the things that you have saved all this time? Haven't you wasted yourself chasing what will not add value? And that's why the message says, Uji, Usiji West. And that's why he was told, listen, you have worked so well, but now at the end of life, what do you have to show for eternity? And Jesus ended that story by saying that this is what happens for people who are rich in the things of this world, but they are not rich in the things of God. They are rich in education. Rich with the money, rich with the friends, rich with the influence, rich in good grace, rich in many things, but they forgot God. I wish somebody gave them this message, OCUS. That's the message. Because we have been told the first circle of evil it's your property. You are now the owner of the world. The ocean is yours. All the continents are yours. Then the day you get the title deed, a voice comes from heaven and says, today the giver of life wants the life back. What will you do with the title deed of the world? If you are the cleverest and most educated person on earth and the day which you are crowned maybe with a Nobel Peace Prize and God says we demand back the life that we gave. That's when you will discover the value of this Usiji West. The first circle of influence that needs to be amplified. And by the way, that why to amplify means to extend away together, to enlarge something that was inadequate in order to make it adequate. Extend to make it adequate. Enlarge to make it adequate. Amplify. You know, that is to amplify your circle of influence. Make it influence. The first circle of influence that needs your attention is yourself. Where you talk to yourself, where you influence yourself, where you advise yourself. The circle of influence that has you and you alone. No wonder Jesus poses and says, what will it be good for you to gain the whole world and forfeit your soul? Usiji West. Mm -hmm. Philippians chapter 2, verse 12 and 13. Philippians chapter 2, verse 12 and 13. The Bible says, therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, Continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Don't work out the salvation of somebody else. Because when you see the salvation of somebody else comparing your evil self with another evil person, you may be satisfied with your own evil. And the both of you will end up in hell. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Your own. Work in your best interest. Usiji West. Work out your salvation. 
Don't listen to that group of friends. You sit together in a row in church and you whisper and say, it's boring, it's boring. Ah, I'm tired, I'm tired. Then all of you, you rise up at the same time and march out in the middle of a presentation in church. Usiji West, work out your own salvation. Work out your own salvation. Don't gang up with anyone and convince yourself that you are okay. You speak negatively about the church, negatively about the leaders, and you feel yourself that you are self, safe in yourself. Work out your own salvation. That circle of influence called yourself is critical. OCG West, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. OCG West. For it is God who works in you to will and in order to fulfill his good purpose. I just came to give you this small message. In the first critical circle of influence that needs to be amplified, the circle of self. And I'm saying, Usiji West, act in your best interest. Go to church at the time in which you think your soul will be safe on judgment day. If that is 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, coming shortly before the sermon, act in your best interest. Arrive in church at the hour you know that your God is comfortable. Participate in church. Give your tithe and offering in the best interest of yourself, knowing there is a God who knows what you earn, how much pocket money you are given, how much handout you are given, and there is a God who knows these details like he knew about Ananias and Sapphira. Act in your best interest, Usiji West. Ananias wasted himself and he lied. And what happened? He lost his life. And when the wife came, she was asked the same thing. You know, is this the money you sold? She should have acted in her best interest. But she thought that let me be faithful to my husband in lies. And she died because she did not act in 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 her best interest. I came to tell you, Mwangaza youth, that work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Usiji West. Usiji West because of a boyfriend. Usiji West because of a girlfriend. Usiji West because of somebody who offended you in church. Usiji West because of impressing anyone. Usiji West because of some fun. Usiji West by going for some team building on Sabbath. I just came to tell you, friends, Usiji West. First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27. First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27. Apostle Paul speaking about his ministry and how he is doing his ministry and how he has not taken advantage of the church in order to preach the gospel. He ends the whole of that presentation by saying in First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27, he says, No, I strike a blow to my body and make it a slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself west, so that it doesn't turn out that I have wasted my effort preaching to others when I myself will not even participate in the salvation that I've been preaching to others. And Apostle Paul says, I'm not wasting myself as I preach the gospel. I am disciplining my body. I am waking up. I am putting an alarm to remind me to read the Bible. Another alarm to remind me to pray. I have downloaded apps of spiritual spirit of prophecy and I'm reading spiritual books. I am doing everything. I strike my body. I discipline it. I have made up my mind, ladies and gentlemen, that I will not waste myself. I come to church early. I leave people behind so that I make it to church. I have decided I will not waste myself. The message says, you see, you waste. I have decided that my dressing is not to impress, but to look good and bring glory to God. I have decided I will not waste myself. The message comes to you today, Usiji West. I challenge you, friends, to strike your body, to make your body your slave. I may have appetite for the things that the church teaches we should not eat or drink. I make my body a slave and I say I will not touch those things so that after I have preached to others, 
I myself will not be disqualified so that it doesn't turn out that I've wasted myself. The message today is simple. Usiji West. Usiji West. Whatever you do, Usiji West. There is no need to be a very good choir member. And then after you have sung all praises to God, you retreat to your room, to your house, to your bed sitter, to your mansion. And you start enjoying secular music that influences your mind away from God. Nobody may ever know you do that, but you are wasting yourself. We have a small message, you see, West. There is no value to be a very good Christian before us. And when you go elsewhere, you are the devil incarnate, UCG West. UCG West. The message is very simple, UCG West. That's very simple, UCG West. May your first circle of influence be the place where you amplify your spiritual life. You amplify your best interest, UCG West. That is the message. May God help us not to waste ourselves because of friends, because of pleasure, and because of temporary pursuits in life, OCG West. Our dear Heavenly Father, we have heard your word. Help us to be faithful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Wow. Wow. That was powerful, Pastor. We said, you must work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. That's, that's powerful. Uh, we, we want to, to go for some prayer session, a little bit of prayer session. But before I go for it, uh, I'd welcome Eric for a very short item uh, to emphasize the message. We said, you must, Eric Karibu. Thank you once again. That was a powerful message, OCG West. Uh, the song I'm going to do is uh, SDA Hymnal 327. I'd rather have Jesus than anything. Silver and gold, Jesus is always better than all the things that we may perceive to be good in this world. It's just closer to one Bluetooth mode. Sa, sa, sorry. Sorry, guys. I'd rather have Jesus than silver or gold. I'd rather have Jesus on riches untold. I'd rather have Jesus than houses or lands. I'd rather be led by his nail-pished hand than to be the king of the vast domain. For be held in sin, dread sin. I'll rather have Jesus 
Dane me thin these wild fruits today. Lord, Lord, Jesus, the names of yours, Lord, Lord, be faithful to his because, Lord, Lord, Jesus, the world wide film, Lord, Lord, be true. To his holy name, than to be the king of the vast domain, or be held in sin, dread shame. Draw the hell, Jesus, than anything. This world of hearts today is for the news of endless bloom. Is sweeter than honey from out of the pain. Is all that my hunger. Bring spirit needs all joy of Jesus and let him lead. Than to be the king of the vast domain, or be led in sin, dress with. God, God, I have Jesus, but anything this world afford today. This world afford today bless you guys amen thank you eric i'd rather have jesus than anything this world affords today kunaji uji west actually uh we are actually going for the prayer prayer session a little one i'll urge you to send in your prayer requests and also send in your questions whatever question you have you can just send it. It will be recorded to be answered uh, sometime later. But meanwhile, as we prepare to pray, I'd like us to remember our mission, mission that is coming almost. Then we do remember our, our uh, this week of prayer. And above all, the climax of it, that's our, our youth day. And also the youth uh, actually the prayer night. So I'd request three of us to pray. Uh, Bob, if you're there, you'll pray for that. I also request Flavia, and I've seen our pastor, Ruben, is around. Pastor Ruben will finish. So we can start praying, then we'll, we'll, we'll have some announcements. Uh, at the end, because yeah, so we can we can start praying, Bob. Uh, thank you, thank you so much, Ben. I hope I'm audible. Okay, you can hear me, right? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Let's 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 have a part of prayer. Our uh, dear Lord in heaven, we say thank you so much for this day, Lord, our dear Redeemer. Thank you for the gift of life. But at this at this evening or at this time, Lord, we have listened to your to your man's servant, Pastor Ekesis. Lord, thank you for using him to speak unto us this evening. Lord, indeed, we have a message to us young people that Lord to see you waste at this time. Lord, indeed, we are living at a perilous time, and Lord, we are asking you to come and restore us. That Lord, we are asking you to bring us back to to reality. Lord, we are asking you to 
to strengthen our faith each and every time, dear Lord. Lord, at this hour, I want to pray for these youths who are here, Lord, listening to your word. Lord, uh, many of them have sacrificed a lot to be here. Lord, how we pray this evening, that Lord, may you please uh, guide them, that Lord, may you please add more to what they have sacrificed to be at this moment. But I want to pray for a mission that is fast approaching. Lord, you know us, you have been planning for this since the beginning of the year. But Lord, indeed, without you in the planning, this will all go to, uh, without any any importance, Lord. But Lord, at this, at this hour, we are calling upon your name. But Lord, please, may you help us in this uh, planning. But Lord, may everything that you plan in our mission, Lord, may go according to your own will. Lord, you are planning to go to Kitui Masani. Lord, dear Father, may you guide of us, prepare the field for us, Lord. But Father, may everything run according to your own will. But Lord, may the people in that place, Lord, may they have the heart to receive of their good news. Continue guiding us, Lord, even as you started day one. Lord, we pray for day two tomorrow. But Lord, may, may we all be energetic for the same. You may give us the heart and the mind to have this teaching. For this, I pray of asking just name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, uh, the, the noise has, has stopped so I can pray. Okay. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we humbly come before you this evening, thanking you for the great session that we've had. What a way to start our week, our youth week, dear Father in heaven. I pray that you may help us that to see joys. Help us remember these teachings that Pastor Kesi says and put in our minds and in our hearts, dear Father in heaven. I also pray that you may be with us in our, in our youth week, dear Lord Jesus. I pray that this uh, youth week may impact each and every youth, uh, not only in Mwangaza, but also far and wide. I pray that you may continue being with our speaker, be with the youth organization, dear Father in heaven. I also want to bring the youth uh, mission that we have ahead of us. I pray that you may touch the hearts of, of those who we are going to minister to. I pray that you may send us to your Holy Spirit to, to be with us in this evangelism. And also be with us for the rest of this week, for this my humble prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Pastor Ruben. I hope we are together. Yes, Pastor. Yes, we are together, Pastor. And the Father in heaven, once again, we are humble before you this hour of the night. Thank you for using your man servant who has just passed the message to us this evening. And since today is the first day, our God and loving Father, we are happy to see the number of the participants who have joined today and as you continue speaking to your young people the whole of this week may your hand of mercy continue to use your man servant that you have used today and more so we pray for our youth in Mwangasa as they plan to proceed to Kitui for the mission May this week be a blessing to them as you use them and more so prepare them for your second coming. Mm -hmm. Those who have not joined today, we pray for them that tomorrow they will be able to join. May this evening be a blessing as you accept our prayer and more so as you prepare us for your second coming. Let your will be done now and forevermore. Accept our prayer. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 amen, amen. Kindly receive the following announcements. Number one, we apologize. We are very much apologetic for changing the link. Uh, we needed to record this call uh, for future reference, of course. But the other link, the old one, could not record. So please uh, accept our apologies for that. And this is the link that we are going to use the whole week. It's the same one. So we can be sharing it. Uh, with a circle of influence, that's our friends, whatever, invite as many people as possible. Number two, uh, hopefully from tomorrow, 
we we are going to have some breakout sessions uh i know to some to some this is a new this is something new to some it's 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 not new a breakout session is when we will be divided into smaller groups wherein we can share our prayer requests and pray together just like vile tunaambiogo twende tuombe kama watu wawili watatu uko nyuma kwa church so we'll be doing that hopefully from tomorrow we'll be sharing our prayer request in those small small groups then we'll pray together in those small small groups then after a certain amount of time we'll return to the main uh, main call to pray together the closing prayer uh, then finally I'd, I'd, I'd urge all of us to uh, join the meeting early, preferably five minutes before time, around 7.55. We want to be keeping time as, as indicated in the program. So we want to share these blessings. So I think that's all I have for today. Uh, invite as many friends as possible. And I think we can, we are free to leave. Have a blessed day. Ah, finally, remember to, to share your questions. Any question, by the way, it will be answered preferably on Saturday. So we are free to leave. Have a blessed night. God bless you all. Thank you. Blessed night, all. Sarafe, stay, stay behind kindly. Sarafe, your dream.